Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Kohler engines and Kohler engines puffing smoke. Uh, never a good thing. Never want to be seeing that when you're riding your lawnmower. So I have this lawnmower behind me. This happens to be a Craftsman. Uh, it's a DGS 6500. And yes, it is powered by a Kohler Pro. It's a 26 horsepower V-twin. And it was dropped off to me by my good buddy, Derek. You guys I might actually know Derek on the channel. Uh, he was the operator in the backhoe that put in this beautiful lift. Uh, so if you guys want to see a couple of tricks I have for you guys and a couple of uh, good things that I'd like to pass on regarding carburetors and these engines, stick around. All right, so you fire it up. So I'm going to choke it here. And we'll get it started. You see a little bit of smoke with the choke on. And as soon as you remove the choke, it clears right up. It runs pretty good. Until you give it some throttle. And all of a sudden, it starts to smoke. Now there's one thing you need to determine before you can easily diagnose it and that is the color of the smoke you see coming out of the exhaust stream. They usually come in three different colors, white, blue and black. So the color we're seeing right now is black which means that it's going to be too much fuel or a really rich uh, mixture in the carburetor or fuel injection system if you have that. If you saw blue smoke It'd be oil being burnt in the cylinders or in the combustion chamber. And if you saw white smoke, it would be coolant or antifreeze being burnt in that combustion chamber water as well. Uh, so being that we've determined we have some black smoke, we know that the carburetor is more than likely the issue in this case. And I know it's the carburetor because I've checked everything else. So I've checked ignition timing. I've checked valve timing and clearances. I've also checked compression. So these are the main things you should check before you dive in too far. But if you have a 26 horsepower Kohler engine, which is an SV, the one that we're working on is an SV35S model, your carburetor is gonna look like this, which is the carburetor on that engine, or it could also look like this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, comment down below. However, most uh, Kohler V-twin engines are gonna have a carburetor that's gonna look like one of these two. So let's look inside this carburetor versus this one and see if you guys can tell me what's missing. Okay, so if I remove the bowls of both of these carburetors, as you can tell, they're pretty similar. This is the parts carb that I know is going to help. And this is the carburetor that we have right now. Do you guys see anything different? Let's put these both in the same orientation. Anything, guys? No? Comment down below if you know. Well, if you already picked it out, good for you. It's this little guy right here. So underneath this cap, this is just a regular plastic cap, which is missing from this one, which is why we have an issue with overfueling. This plastic cap has a jet underneath it. So without this little plastic cap in position, we're going to be running way too much fuel uh, through the engine when we're at uh, wide open throttle, which is when we're usually cutting grass. Uh, I should also note, guys, that I ended up buying a used carb to get this part. I believe you can get the part alone. Mind you, for me, it was more uh, economical to get the whole carburetor. Or, in a worst case scenario, you could probably make your own cap because it's really just a piece of plastic plugging this, um, plugging this orifice. So, let's put it back together. And I'm going to show you what it runs like now. A little bit of choke. Already you can hear it idle much better. Let's get a throttle. Let's 
suggestions for you. First thing you can do is you can grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper and make yourself some notes, make yourself a drawing of where things go and how they go back together. An, an even better way of doing it, I would suggest to take your camera on your phone, snap a couple of pictures. I mean, sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, and then that way there you'll know where all the linkages go. You can even snap a picture of it while it's on the machine. Once you've got it opened up, there's a couple of other things I would suggest that you do and not do. Uh, one of those is when you start cleaning the tips, or sorry, when you start cleaning the jets, don't use a torch tip cleaner. I really don't recommend that. Not a good idea. Use something that's not so abrasive to get those cleaned out. Uh, if you're using shop air, uh, if you're using compressed air, don't use high pressure compressed air in orifices because sometimes there's a little rubber behind there, there's some really weird stuff that can go on in some of these carburetors, and you don't want to dislodge something that is supposed to be in its place. And I would say finally, when you put it all back together, make sure that all the parts go where they're supposed to be and that you didn't forget anything. Because in our case, that's exactly what happened. Well guys, that'll do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It would really help me out if you enjoyed the video. And again, until next time, have fun out there.